The lathe we are going to use is set up in what's called a counter shaft pulley system. And you'll probably see these if you go to any of the clock and watch conventions and see people that are selling lathes. They are selling these uh, counter shafts, or sometimes they're referred to as transmissions. Because that's really what they do. They are like a transmission, like either on a car or, or like a speeds on a bicycle. You have your motor over here, which has a pulley here, which drives this large wheel. And then that in turn drives this entire shaft here to this wheel, which goes here to drive your lathe. Now the reason we have this is, is twofold. Number one, uh, these motors are of relatively modest horsepower and they tend to go fast. So what we do with this pulley system is we slow down the speed and increase the torque or the power to the uh, area, to the piece that we're working on. Now in order to do that we go from a small diameter that the motor is driving to a large pulley. So when that large small pulley turns that only makes a minimal turn on the large pulley. So let's say five turns on the small pulley makes one turn on the, on the large pulley, that would be a five to one reduction. So if you're running, let's say, 1500 RPM or revolutions per minute here, this would cause the rotation to slow down to 300 on a five to one ratio. Then you go over here and you've got the graduated steps here just like you have the graduated steps here. So now you have even more speeds to work from. And when you do hook up the counter shaft setup, when you have the pulleys that match the pulleys on your lathe, you want them to be in the opposite direction. Like for example, this is in a descending order, and this in, is in an ascending order. And the reason why you do that is because when you flip the belt to the next, let's say, smaller pulley here, uh, you can it'll equally measure out on the other side, you don't have to change the size of the belt. So the belt can remain the same and you can change the pulleys without having to move the counter shaft and adjust for the slack in the belt if you move the belt back and forth. And it's still and, and it's just as effective in terms of changing uh, the, the torque and the speed that you're working on. When this runs it looks like this. And you can see where the motor is running the large wheel which in turn runs this, which in turn runs your lathe. Now let's look at something closely. I'm going to give you a demonstration on the uh, rotation of the small wheel to this large wheel here. Let's look at this further illustration. I made a little black mark right there. As you can see at the bottom of your screen on this little pulley. I also made a black mark here on the larger pulley, both in the on the left hand side of the pulley. Now watch the lower pulley as I make a complete revolution all the way around. Okay, now our pulley at the top, look where the dot is. It came from this side over here up to about right here. I'd say maybe a 20% movement because a, a full quarter would have been from here all the way up to the top. So this is probably a good illustration to show you that if this moved 20%, 20% is like a fifth. So this is approximately a 5 to 1 ratio. So every time this turns, so if this turns 1500 times, then this would turn 300 times to the 1500 down there. So that goes to show you, see, if I turn back a full rotation on the small pulley, so you've only made maybe a 20% turn. I was up over in this area here, and now I'm back there. So you can see how the small pulley will be running at a higher speed, and the larger pulley will be turning at a slower speed. Now another thing we're going to use is this router speed controller. This is a hand controller and you don't need to use a foot control speed on this type of setup. It's best to use this type of router control. And these are made for routers but they work very well for, for your lathe setup. And when I turn it on it's an adjustable speed so I can run it fast, I can slow it down, I can run fast and I, it'll stay constant. So I don't have to worry about my foot pedal if I'm pressing with my foot and I'm pressing too hard or too little or have a sudden burst of speed. Because when you're trying to do work with a counter shaft, you're dealing with a, sh a smaller speed and greater torque and you want to make sure that, you're, that it's constant 
so you have less variation in speed so that helps your accuracy in your work. Now the other type of lathe that you don't have a counter shaft, it's not as critical because you're running the speed of the, of the lathe motor itself and you can adjust it very easily with the foot. But with the counter shaft it's best to use the router control and that's what we're going to use today. 